Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo here back with another video. Today we're gonna talk about something that I've been wanting to get done for a very long time and I finally got it done. I got the Model 3 tinted. Check it out. Oh, that part's too loud. So as many of you know, the Model 3 doesn't come tinted from the factory. It's something that has to do with preference. I'm sure that a lot of owners do prefer the no tint look, but in a place like Texas, for example, you gotta have your car tinted. So yeah, I did like the way that the car looked, especially because I've got the white interior. Whenever I'm walking up to the car, I can always see that white interior and it just stands out. Everybody's always looking in the car and one of the first things they say is, wow, you got the white interior? I'm like, yeah, I mean, what do you think? And they're always super impressed. So definitely something you can talk about with people. And it's also something that I really enjoy. I mean, it, it makes the experience more elevated. So yeah, I live in Texas. It is extremely hot. We typically have a full month at least of 100 degree weather. So tinting the car, super important. Most of my cars that I've had in the past, they came tinted from the factory. For example, my FJ Cruiser's got 20% tint on the back and 35% in the front, which is exactly what I wanted to do in this Model 3. So take a look, here is what we got. So I've done quite a bit of shopping for this. I pretty much have talked to everybody that I've seen with the Model S or Model 3 that has tint on their car. And I always wanted to know, hey, how much did you pay for your tint? Basically, the bottom line that I've heard from anybody is $500. And we're talking $500 for, hey, there's a fellow Tesla owner. What's up, Mark? Okay, so $500, and that's for the four windows, okay? So $500, it's not that bad, but it's also kind of expensive. I mean, you're talking about an extra for your car. Anyway, 500 bucks. So I have this buddy, his name's Kelly. He's been wanting a Model 3 just as long as I have, and he finally pulled the trigger. He got himself a dual motor, all-wheel drive, Model 3, long range. It looks super nice. He has it all white with the 20% tint all around. It looks pretty awesome. Anyway, Kelly reached out to me and he sent me the information for the guy that did the tint on his car. And I was immediately skeptical because he said the price was basically about half the price of what I've been told from everybody I've spoken to. So I was a little concerned, but at the same time, I was a little bit curious because that's always been the one thing holding me back. 500 bucks is kind of steep. I checked out Kelly's car and what do you know, it looked awesome. I decided that I was gonna go for it. Shout out to Four Aces window tinting. This guy will hook you up. He did an awesome job and he's got all this stuff on Instagram so you can see the quality of work that he's outputting. He's done several Teslas, including mine and John's. And take a look and tell me what you think. I mean, I think it looks awesome. One of the things that I do like about how 4Aces window tinting does it, he's got a computer that will cut out the patterns for the windows. So the cutouts are gonna look incredible. They're gonna fit perfectly. There's no hand cutting involved and it just came out great. So the computer, it's got access to different tints for basically every different car and it's a software subscription service that you have to pay for. That's another thing that kind of limits people from going and trying to do it themselves probably for the better because I know for a fact that it would not have come out this good. So after the film is cut out by the computer, he immediately wets it down and throws it on his glass wall. Next thing to happen is the windows are gonna be cleaned with a razor blade, scrubbed. It's, it's a pretty nice little process. He makes sure that there are zero issues with the window. It got cleaned up real nice. And then the next thing is to wet it down, get it ready for the tint film to go on. So he throws the film on there. It's all wet on both sides, including the window. As far as I'm aware, it's a soapy water mixed with some baby oil. It, anyway, it does a really good job. Once everything looks to be in place, He's gonna use a squeegee. He's gonna wipe it all down, make it look real nice. He told me it's about three to five days of curing before you can open and close the window. If you are in the market for buying a Model 3, please consider using either my referral link or John's. They're gonna be listed here in the description below. That's gonna get you a thousand miles of supercharging and it will also get me a thousand miles of supercharging, which is a pretty nice little perk. So I'd really appreciate it if you would consider doing that. 
And after you get your Model 3 or your Model S, I think the Model Y comes with tint pre-installed from the factory, so you probably won't have to worry about it then. But with the Model 3, it doesn't have tint, so as soon as you get it, I highly advise you get your car tinted. And I highly advise if you're in the DFW area, you use 4Aces window tinting. And please let them know that I sent you. If you have any questions about my experience getting my Model 3 tinted, please be sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you gave the thumbs up right down here. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you considered subscribing. We make videos about Teslas, about technology, and more. So definitely check it out. We really appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. What do you think? Would you have tinted the back window? I kind of like it. It, uh, it makes the space a little bit more lit up and it's not really hot, so I'm gonna leave it, I think. We'll see. If I don't like it, I'll get it tinted, but I don't think it's happening. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool.